like to show you how I set up new cash for my new business. My new business is called accountinator.com and I can teach you how to keep accounting records quick, easy, and cheap. I'm going to open a new file now, new file. Hit forward. I'm going to use US dollars because I'm in the United States. The type of business I'm going to set up here is I'm going to unclick common accounts because that's really for keeping your own private personal records and I'm going to click on business accounts then click on forward I'm not going to change any account names you can see all the accounts that I'm going to have here just move forward and then I'm going to apply next of all I'm going to name my file I keep it in XML, which is works fine. I'm going to call this Accountinator Books. The first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a new account. So to do this, I'll go to Actions, New Account. I'm going to call this account Capital. And this is going to be call it an equity account. And I'm going to hit must choose a commodity. It means a currency. Now if you look under equity, I have here capital. I, I want to move this into equity. There we go. So under equity, I have a new item called capital. Next, I'm going to have my first transaction. So this particular transaction, I actually have three transactions. Um, in setting up my domain names and also some other services, some other web services that I needed. So I'm going to call these office service, office supplies. Believe it or not, these categories were set up before we had anything like, um, you know, internet and domain names. The date of my first transaction was on September 25th, 2011. There's no number. And the vendor was GoDaddy. And I set up the name Accountinator. And the account this is going to go into, since I paid for this out of my pocket, it's going to come right out of, if I can find it, there you go, Equity Capital. And I'm going to call that 4285. That was the amount it cost. Later on in the day, I reserved more domain names. So I had GoDaddy, theaccountinator.com. Again, I'm going to use the same account, Equity, and that one cost me a pretty penny, $60.85. I didn't have a coupon. And then on October 2nd, I bought additional services from GoDaddy. Um, blog search engine visibility which I'm not sure I need and again I paid for that out of pocket so it's all going to come out of equity capital that was twenty nine dollars and ninety seven cents so now you can see all my transactions listed right here and here's a summary of everything that's going on if you close this hierarchy you can see here that you have hundred thirty three dollars and sixty seven cents in equity and $133.67 in expenses. What I could also do is I could prepare an income statement. You can see here my profits. So right here I'm going to go to reports and if I want to see my income statement I'll simply go to income and expense and scroll down to income statement. And here you can see a full list of all of your revenues and expenses. This is a little hard to look at, 
so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my display over. Um, here you can see omit zero balance figures. And I'm going to uncheck that. And now you can see it's a much simpler report that's easier to read. I can also do something called a balance sheet. It shows what I have and what I owe, which is nothing. <laughs> Here you go, balance sheet. Same problem with the balance sheet, by the way, is it shows a lot of unnecessary information. I can go to options, display, omit zero balance figures. And now I have a much simpler version of my balance sheet. And there I am. I've got books and records.